Hey, good morning here. I'm out here with my tab trailer getting ready to go on camping and and the tab like many small uh, uh camping trailers has a 7 pin uh uh trailer connector and right now my 7 pin connector is not hooked to the car at all. Uh it's not hooked to my uh to my minivan that we usually tow with. Uh it's actually hooked to a remote control light box. And that's what the box looks like. It has a Kurt 7-pin uh, round connector on it. Many of these trailers, like the Tab, the Tada, uh, Casita, and others, have that on their models. And so uh, this will work on any of those trailers as long as it has a 7-pin round connector and a 12-volt charge wire that are part of the that are part of the wiring harness of the trailer. So uh, you can see I've turned on the the trailer lights. Uh, these are the running lights I've got on right now. I'm testing. All looks good there. And uh, then I'm going to test the turn signal here. Looks good. It comes on momentary. And the right side one works fine too. And uh, actually the reverse lights are on switch number four here. So if you have your trailer equipped with the reverse lights, so you got backup lights on it, then those will come on as well. So this would allow you to diagnose problems with your trailer wiring or with your trailer light bulbs when it's not connected to the tow vehicle. And that can be handy because there's a variety of testers for the tow vehicle that you can plug into your 7-pin, but there are not a variety of testers for the trailer alone. So sometimes you have to isolate where the problem is. Is it in the trailer or is it in the tow vehicle? And this is a great way to do it because when you're disconnected from the tow vehicle and you're using this controller box, then the only wiring and, uh, and bulbs involved, you know, potential failures involved, are on the trailer itself. So another thing you could use this for is in the campground if you were going to maneuver your trailer by hand uh, and wanted to turn on the backup lights if your trailer is so equipped, you can turn on the backup lights and back the trailer by hand into a tricky spot where there might be a possibility of you damaging the trailer or injuring somebody. Uh, so you can uh, uh, see very easily when you're maneuvering by hand. Also, if you wanted to turn this, uh, turn your lights on and off while uh, to, to scare away a would-be intruder or to scare away curious animals that are in the area or to find your trailer when you're coming up to it and you've forgotten to leave your porch light on and it's in a dark area, then you can turn on your running lights or turn on other lights in order to locate the trailer. And uh, actually, you can leave these lights on all the time. If you're dry camping, there's obviously the drain of the light bulbs. Uh, if you're connected to a, a, a shore power in a regular campground that has electrical hookups, you got nothing to worry about. Your converter will take care of that, and you can leave your lights on as much as you want to help identify your trailer. Thanks a lot.